Hello everyone, welcome to Digital Communication Tutorials. In this video, I am going to solve another numerical on sampling theorem. Please note, this is one of the MSc questions. I will read out the question now. Consider the analog signal x of t equals 4 cos 100 pi t. Part E of the question says, determine the minimum sampling rate to avoid aliasing. Part B. Suppose that the signal is sampled at a rate of 200 hertz. What is the discrete time signal obtained after sampling? Part C of the question is, suppose that the signal is sampled at a rate of 75 hertz. What is the discrete time signal obtained after sampling? Lastly, part 4 of the question is, what is the frequency of the sinusoid? that yields samples identical to those obtained in part 3 of the question. Right. Let us start with the solution part here. We are given x of t as 4 cos 100 pi t. So, this is equivalent to 4 cos 2 pi f 1 t. Therefore, the frequency component of this signal is 50 hertz. Let us now move on to the part A of the question. The part A of the question is to find the minimum sampling rate to avoid aliasing. Now, as per the ideal sampling theorem, the minimum sampling rate is equal to the Nyquist rate, which is equal to 2 multiplied by the highest frequency component of the signal. For our given signal, please note the highest frequency component is 50 hertz, which as per the standard notations is equal to W. Therefore, the minimum sampling rate to avoid aliasing is given by this is equals to Fs minimum is equals to 2 into W, which is equals to 2 into 50, therefore, it is equals to 100 hertz. This is part A of the numerical. Let us now move on to part B. Part B of the question says, suppose that the signal is sampled at a rate of 200 hertz, what is the discrete time signal obtained after sampling? Let us solve that now. The discrete time signal obtained by sampling x of t, which is our given signal, at an fs equals to 200 hertz is given by let us call it as x of n, which is our discrete time signal, and this is equals to x of t at t is equals to n divided by fs. This is how we are going to find the discrete time signal. Now, the x of t is given as 4 into cos of 100 pi t. Therefore, when we apply a value of t equals to n divided by fs, this equation will become 4 into cos of 100 pi into n divided by fs. Here, we are given that Fs is equals to 200 hertz. So, when I substitute that, the equation reduces to. Therefore, the final answer for part B is 4 into cos of pi divided by 2 into n. This is the discrete time signal that we obtain by sampling the given signal x of t with a sampling frequency of 200 hertz. Let us now move on to part c. Now, the part c of the question is very similar to that of part b except that now the sampling frequency is taken as 75 hertz. So, I am going to repeat the same procedure once again here. So, I will say the discrete time signal obtained by sampling x of t at fs equals to 75 hertz is we 
let us once again call it as x of n and this is equals to x of t at t is equals to n divided by f s. So, this is equals to 4 cos 100 by t at t is equals to n by f s. This is equals to 4 cos of 100 pi into n divided by f s. So, f s here is equal to 75 hertz therefore, the equation reduces to 4 cos of 4 pi by 3 into n. However, we find that this term can be further simplified which I will illustrate now. So, let us take 4 cos of 4 pi by 3 into n and when I try to simplify this I can also write this as 4 into cos of 2 pi minus of 2 pi divided by 3 into n. We know that cos of 2 pi minus of x is equal to cos of x. Therefore, this will reduce to 4 cos of 2 pi by 3 into n. This is the final answer for part 3 of the numerical. Lastly, let us now move on to the last part of the numerical. The question is, what is the frequency of the sinusoid that yields samples identical to those obtained in part 3 of the numerical? Let us solve that here. Here, let me start by identifying a sinusoid that yields the same samples as that of the part 3 of the question. So, I will write it as I will call it as 4 cos of 2 pi into f multiplied by n divided by f s. Here we are supposed to find the value of f. In the numerical we are given that this component yields the same samples as that of the answer of part 3 of the numerical. Therefore, I will write it as Right, look at the RHS, it is the same as that of the final answer of the part 3 of the numerical. Now, after cancelling out the common terms, what will remain here is f divided by fs is equal to 1 divided by 3. Therefore, f is equals to fs divided by 3, which is equal to 75 divided by 3, which is 25 hertz. Now, once we find the value of f, let us now substitute it back into the sinusoid that yields the same samples as that of the part 3. Therefore, now I will write the sinusoid is given by, I will call it as y of t. So, y of t is equals to 4 into cos 2 pi f t. So, this is equal to 4 into cos of 2 pi multiplied by 25 into t, which is equals to 4 cos 50 pi t. Please note here I have taken n divided by f s as t because we are asked to find the signal that is a continuous function. Therefore, as a conclusion now I will state that the original frequency component f1 which was 50 hertz is an alias of the frequency we just found out which is 25 hertz. So, I can now conclude that f1 equals to 50 hertz is an alias of the frequency f equals to 25 hertz for the sampling rate which is given in the part 3 of the numerical which is fs equals to 25 hertz which I will write it here. Right, that is about this numerical. If you like this video, kindly like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more information on digital communication. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.